Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to ICBM. This time around I'm going for aircraft carriers, which you might have already gathered from the title. Let me know if you guys got the reference that I uh, <laughs> that I put in there. Carriers. I haven't used them much yet because I find them to be sometimes a bit of a waste of resources. But if you have them fully upgraded and if you have the rest of your navy around them to protect them, then they can definitely project quite a lot of power and places where you might normally not be able to go too easily. The plan is to build a few aircraft carrier groups, I'm thinking of two to three, and then have those backed up by aircraft which are launched from the mainland US. That's going to be the continent that I'm being playing this time. Why aircraft? Well, the aircraft are going to be upgraded on the carriers and the aircraft carrier on the air bases, or well, the aircraft on the air bases, those automatically benefit from that as well. So that's the plan. Go heavy on air, first strike with carrier groups, second strike with bombers. That's the plan. Difficulty normal, let's redistribute the points. Um, I'm always much in favor of specking up first. Specking up slash tacking up, which means I'm immediately gonna go with advanced aircraft. Uh, I want SAMs so that my ships can also defend themselves against planes. And yes, and, and destroyer and the cruiser can actually target enemy aircraft. There was some discussion about this in the comments section of previous video. What cruisers cannot do is defend themselves against missiles. No anti-missile defense. But what they do have is anti-air defense. So I'm going to go with a SAM tech. Um, that means I'll not be able to afford an aircraft carrier right from the get-go. But I will be able to afford a destroyer and a cruiser. Although arguably that's not ideal. That might not be what I need right from the get-go uh, because there won't be that much af action anyway. And as the mainland US, uh, well, North America, I don't really have to fear too much from first strikes, especially not early game. Uh, if this was against another couple of players, then maybe, but if this is against the AI as it is, then it's not that bad. Now, I'm going with advanced air-to-air -air missiles to make sure that I can deal with any kind of planes when I actually get my first aircraft carrier. Uh, that gives me 60 points, which is enough to buy a destroyer and uh, two megaton bombs. That's it. No radar sites, no SAM sites, nothing. This is what we're going to start with. Now, let's see who wants to uh, get allied with me. Um... Ideally, I'd launch a strike against South America, so I'd have Europe as my ally. Let's see if they're interested. Alliance formed. They are. Then I want to share my research. Come on, Europe. Europe accepts. Do you also want to share radar information? Europe rejects. Okay. I cannot actually invite anybody else into this alliance, so I'm going to have to wait until another AI faction decides to try and join in, at which point we'll probably have to accept them pretty quick. Now then, the strategy. Uh, try to deal with South America quickly. Well, quickly, that means um, I'll probably harass them with a destroyer, but one destroyer is not enough, as the enemy always operates with more than one uh, ship. Especially early on, they destroy or they deploy two destroyers and a carrier. So this means that I'll have to have my own cruisers up. Um, I'm going to go with a cruiser and an aircraft carrier and another destroyer. Research. Well, pretty much everything that helps my aircraft. That's the plan early on. I'm going to go for aerial refueling to increase the range that the aircraft have on the aircraft carrier, uh, followed by AWACS. So I also have my aircraft carrier uh, advanced early warning and control, and that'll allow me to see quite a bit more than the carrier normally would. All right, we're going to go straight to speed four. Alliance formed. Yep, here we go. Pacific requests Alliance join. Alliance formed. Accepted. Alliance formed. And now they want to share research. Or, sorry, radar info. We got South America and East Asia, Russia and Africa. And is West Asia going to go on it alone? No. Alliance There we go. Formed. They joined the Red Alliance. So, we got Russia, Africa, West Asia. Russia, Africa, West Asia. This is one large block. Then we have East Asia and South America, and the US, sorry, uh, North America, um, Europe, and the Pacific. And I think I already heard a bit of shooting going on. The question is where? Here, I think. 
the West Asian Carrier Group, and as you can see, they usually deploy uh, a cruiser, two destroyers, and a carrier. That's their starting setup that they always go with. Um, the way they deployed that probably was able to hit one of the radar sites. We also got the European Group. For some reason, the European Carrier Group is going my way. I don't know why. They have deployed two destroyers. Oh, you found something, huh? South America is using their destroyer solo, which is immediately getting harassed by the aircraft. This one. See, this one, the destroyer is currently not fighting back against the planes because it doesn't have SAMTAC. It cannot engage the aircraft just yet. It can engage the carrier, and the enemy, sorry, the European destroyer does not have any anti-missile tech because it is actually getting hit. All right, a couple of these small skirmishes are bound to happen. I'm not sure what the European submarine and destroyer are heading off to do. Do they have plans to go around Cape Town or something? Oh, I need to deploy, fine. Um, you and you over here off of the coast of Jacksonville. Right, the first part of the research is done, aerial refueling. Next up, stealth aircraft. We're gonna go right into the advanced aircraft. Let's see if the other nations are having a bit of a clash. The Pacific Research Carrier complete. Group is going this way. There's a standoff between a European submarine and a South American destroyer. Interesting. I don't think that's going to go too well for the sub. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> European complete. destroyer got upgraded. It now has surface-to-air missiles. Okay. Um, we have a destroyer, we have a cruiser, we have a carrier. I'll take another destroyer, carrier, and cruiser. Right. The carrier is going to be the main part of the fleet. So I'm going to have to follow you. You're going to have to be cancelled and follow the carrier. And another destroyer also to follow the carrier. I now have a pretty powerful group here already. And I just need to see what is going on. So let's launch the uh, advanced early warning. See what the radar coverage is. And I can also start to maneuver the fleet over here. Nothing near Havana. Ah, hello. Uh, as long as I go for conventional bombing run, I can probably take out that radar site. Done. New destroyer ready. Carrier next, then a cruiser, and then another destroyer. Currently, I have nothing invested in the mainland defense. That's going to be the next project. I first want to have two carrier groups operational. All right. My dear aircraft early warning. Let's see. Or aerial early warning. Let's see. Do we have anything here? No, we do not. No. Oh, there we go. Radar sight. All right. Let's park this over here. Ah, another one. From here we can project some power. I still have 20 nuclear bombs in storage. Um, I can deliver those with the, the attack fighters. I just don't really want to because I don't want to launch the nuclear strikes just yet. There, we blinded them a bit more. I was hoping that you could give multiple orders, but apparently to the AWACS you can. Oh, hello, you can't. That's what I was looking for. Their airbase. And the thing is, I can't properly reach their airbase. So I'll probably have to just uh, deploy my secondary carrier group over here and park it somewhere over there. So then I can deal with the airbase. Right now, I'm surprised that I have not been detected yet. But that might have had to do with the limited amount of radar sites that they still have. They currently cannot really de de do too much against my group. Simply because they don't have any radar sites to tell them that there is something coming in. Waiting for the cruiser next. There goes another radar site. Stealth aircraft, 12 minutes. Cruiser in 60 seconds, destroyer in 2 minutes. 
Um, then we're going to go radar sites and SAM sites. Ooh, South American submarines. I have depth charges. Engage. Attack the submarine. I've never actually seen this before. How effective is that? Holy shit, that just took out half the sub. Nice going. And you still carry four more, so you can probably deal with either or both subs. Yeah, of course, you're splitting your fire. Yep, that's another half a submarine dead. No, you got the entirety of the sub. Whoa, these things are impressive. That is some really good stuff. Hello, radar sight. Allow air patrol. I want you to go over there. We're going to do that via the coast. Alright, time to deploy some radar sights. Yeah, there was a spot there. Here. There we go. Another radar sight over here. Carrier group, keep going. Anything else interesting happening in South America? Doesn't seem like it. Ooh, we're intercepting an enemy fighter. And it's about to get even more of a disparity between the aircraft, because I'm about to have stealth aircraft, and they are still working on simply using their... Well, they don't even have advanced aircraft yet. They're still using the standard aircraft. Okay, next up. Improve the long-wave radar which will allow those aerial warning systems to be even more effective. There's something here. A Russian destroyer. I'm not sure how much I need to defend my east coast, because as it happens, my European ally won't attack me yet. Africa might. They might, but I'm not sure if they will. At least, not yet. Research um, complete. Yeah, okay, that's the research complete. So we now have the stealth aircraft. Does that mean I can already hit the airbase? Yes. So we're now launching what I think is the equivalent of an F-35. Love air patrol. And these are very difficult to intercept. Oh, hey. Attack bomber, yep. Thank you, early warning system. Yeah, well, we did do some damage, but not really enough. I'm not even sure what the bombers are trying to hit. Where would they be going? To North America, I imagine. So, to me, but where? I don't really know. Okay, let's defend Mexico City. Mexico City is a critical part of my infrastructure because it houses 21% of my GDP. The lower that number goes, the worse it's going to get to build stuff. Alright, let's try and win the air war. I'm not really going for an offensive move against that base yet. I first want to see if I can take out all their fighters. And I think that my attack bombers can indeed do that before they're going to be required to take out the enemy um, the enemy air base. Because these guys against, what are these, F4s? F4F? Whatever, they're old aircraft. My aircraft are pretty much 40 years more advanced, give or take a few. Okay, uh, New York, I believe, is the other critical point. Yep, yeah, 35%. Improved long wave radar coming up in three minutes. Where is my early warning system? Didn't launch it yet. On the SAM site. Of course, I will need to put more radar sites nearby here, otherwise, it's not going to be very useful. Another SAM site.
Let's go for an airbase next. A couple of airbases. Look at that radar range. And this is only the first radar upgrade. Alright, aircraft carrier, listen up. We're gonna strike that airbase. Go on. Fantastic. Alright, I want you over there. I want you a bit more to the south. And this is just a full suppression tactic for South America. There's not really that much that they can do to counter this. Because they cannot build an airbase. It'll immediately get destroyed. They cannot build a radar site, as it'll get destroyed. They can probably not build a silo, as I'll detect it pretty early on and destroy it. So, at the moment, I don't really see South America being able to do much. Uh, this, however, could be a threat. Yeah, that's a threat. Uh, they have medium aircraft, shall we say? But the Research thing is, complete. I don't have missiles yet. Cruise missiles, uh, maneuvering missiles, air-to-surface missiles, all of this stuff is going to be very beneficial to my carrier group. Right now, I don't think we're going to be able to do much against each other. Because I'm just going to launch standard bombs at one of those guys. At one of those destroyers. It's not going to be very useful. But at least I know where they are. Alright, I want you to make a flight over South America. So, or South South America. See if there's anything else out there. Air base of South uh, of Africa revealed. Really? Oh, here. Blinking. Gotcha. Alright. Cruise missiles researched. We now have a range of ship to ship of 1,000 meters. With these guys, I can't tell. Africa. No, I don't know what sort of text they're working on. I know that West Asia is doing anti-ballistic missile defense. Interesting. Okay, if I want to hit South America, um, I think this is a pretty decent position to hit it from, because my bomber should be able to reach absolutely everything. No matter where they're going to try and hide, I can hit them. Unfortunately, that is really the only use of this airbase. Uh, aside maybe from intercepting enemy bombers that are coming in from over here, from Africa. Uh, my fighters have ooh, not really got that good of a range. So maybe I'm going to have to put some sort of perimeter defense over there. Okay, that's next. Um... That one after that. Let's see if I can deal with these guys. They have taken some damage, so they did encounter somebody else already. I wonder if they're aware of me. Maybe they're not. Maybe they don't know that I'm operating here with my own carriers. Well, carrier, actually. Singular. Um... What else would I need? Air launch ballistic missiles are nice. But I also want to upgrade my ships. Powerful engines. Allows the ships to maneuver faster. Second airbase about to complete it. Let's go with a third and a fourth. Research complete. Right, so now I can arm these attack aircraft with anti sorry, air to surface missiles. Which should allow me to very quickly get rid of these guys. Can I do that with a strike plan? Aircraft carrier, target, destroyer, cruiser, aircraft carrier. Yes. They'll hit everything at the same time. Alright. Execute Executing plan alpha. Strike plan. These are snoozing for the moment, waiting to, for the other aircraft to launch. They're being countered. going to come at the expense of quite a few of my birds, I'm afraid. We are countering their aircraft. But I'm down to seven of my birds. Six. What a mess this thing is. Cut that out. 
four birds left. Right, well, I'm gonna have to replenish some of those. Uh, those are the attack bombers. Oh, at least we scared them off a bit. I could have the cruiser go after them. They might be able to take a few missiles from that cruiser without the cruiser taking any return fire. And with the improved engines, I'll be able to keep up with them and probably overtake them. Even though a cruiser is probably not the fastest ship, doing only 35. Alright, let's also deploy the second airbase. Um, we can fly over the North Pole and hit Russia. So that airbase is going to sit over here. We'll probably have to build some defenses around that as well. Two radar sites, a few SAM sites. Come on, cruiser. Yep, it's already working away against the ships. There goes our destroyer. Could not counter it. Four more missiles going out from the cruiser. And we're going to work over the aircraft carrier. Speed's been upgraded to 50. Not sure if that's knots, but I don't think so. There we go. Ship done. Alright, cancel your order. You can rejoin your initial formation. Come on, globe. If you could work with me here, that'd be lovely. Okay. Sam sights. One there. One here. And one there. Advanced powerful engines coming up. Oh, hello. What are Russian boomers doing over here? We got a South American boomer, a Russian boomer, and a Russian carrier group? Wait, what? Could you work that over, maybe? So long as it's not nuclear, please. Because I really don't want to go to war yet. I mean... Well, sinking their boomers and their carriers probably won't make me any friends, but at least it's not nuclear war. I was wondering if there was anything in particular that these guys were waiting for. Here we go. Stop playing games off of my coast. I know it's not my territorial waters, but I still don't want them around. Missiles away. Boom! <laughs> Lovely. That's how we deal with these guys. They do have some fighters which are wondering where the hell their carrier just went. And my fighters are working over these fighters very quickly. Um, even though they don't really need to because they can't go anywhere. They're probably at the edge of their operational range. <clears throat> but same can be said for these. They just don't have anywhere to go. Now, I'm actually going to keep this plan operational. Oh, hold on. We hit something else as well? Yeah, I think we hit something else as well. I'm going to keep this attack plan operational. I will rename it. Um, this is the uh, anti-ship missile continuous. Continuous to make sure that anything that gets detected ship-wise is going to get hit by those B2s with their... Um, Anti-ship missiles. Let's get rid of this uh, SAM site over here. I hope I can do that from out of range. Oof. Nope, not a good idea. Nope. Cancel that. We're going to keep that thing alive Research for the time complete. being. Research is done. Advanced powerful engines complete. Next up... Um, let's see what is useful. Hypersonic missiles. New airbase is ready. I'm going to have an airbase over here. We're going to build a few attack bombers to make sure I can replenish my aircraft carriers. This one's ready. This one, however, took a few hits. Oh, um, do I have to really bring that carrier all the way back? Fine. At least they'll be pretty quick now. The destroyers can do 85. 
The cruisers can do 70, and the aircraft carrier can do 65. Nine attack bombers standing by. Radar sight coming up. I'll take a few more, and I'll take some SAM sights. Because now I have some SAM sights over here, but no radar to guide them in. Wait, somebody's having a party? Where? Oh, here. There's something going on here. Another site. Radar site. Uh, here. I'm gonna have an AWACS off of my coast. This is also going to allow me to do much more early warning and interception of enemy bombers coming out of Africa. I can do the same thing with this one. And the same thing with this one. I now have a lot of radar coverage, which also means that any aircraft carrier group, which is going to get detected, will immediately, well, not even a carrier group, any ship that gets detected will immediately get dealt with. Anything that gets detected is going to take a, well, a pretty punishing amount of fire. Right, what is next? Um, how am I doing fighter-wise? 10? 10. Okay, we're good. 15 there, 15 there, 15 there. We're good. We got everything we need. Right. After that's done, I could go with some submarines. Uh, I still don't find these to be that useful, especially since I already have my flying radar systems. So this means that I'll be very quick to detect enemy ships without the, really the need for submarines. SSBNs? Hmm... Doesn't really fit the strategy that I'm going to go for today. I can go for 10 megaton bombs. That would be an interesting addition to my armament. Because those would be perfect to start leveling South America and be quick about, about it. After hypersonic missiles is done, I'm going to work on advanced ABM. Let's play another radar site over here. SAM site... I don't really feel secure here yet. So let's just keep stacking a few more SAM sites. I can get space radar, but I don't find it too useful because the AI generally doesn't use satellites whatsoever. Let's defend Vancouver. Or Vancouver, or... You know, this thing over here, 1.84. Um... With respect to Anchorage, it's not that interesting. <laughs> it's 298,000 people, which on this scale of this game is not that many. Start turtling up. I'm not really expecting an attack from the west coast. I'm oh, sorry, from the east coast, but I'm expecting one from the west coast. There we go, carrier replenished. Now let's get you back here. Something else that could be very handy is air-launched ballistic missiles. Aircraft-launched medium-range ballistic missiles, these things. They will, however, take quite a bit. And the problem is that I first really need to start investing in my anti-ballistic missile defenses. Because if I don't have that up to par, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Holy shit. Europe's not taking anybody into their airspace. No visitors here. Sam sites fighting back. Looks like it has ABM. Unlike the European Sam sites. What is one of my bombers doing here? Oh, you found a ship. Yeah, well, then you have to destroy it. <laughs> Are you kidding? No, he's not kidding. Yeah, unfortunately, he's gone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wasn't really expecting it to start taking down ships next to Istanbul <laughs> from all the way over here in the north that's greatly amusing oh well 
Um, some defenses over here. I know I wasn't going to get attacked from here, but rather safe than dead. I'm expecting them to try and hit Mexico and them being South America, because they'll probably be the ones that try to strike back after I go after them. So this will probably be the prime target. That means that I might have to deploy another bit of air patrol over here. Uh, probably the AWACS from this group. Wait, did they take it down? That's rude. Research complete. That's really rude. I need another AWACS. Quickly. Alright, research is done. Um, the next one is going to be the ICBMs. Or sorry, ABMs. Anything interesting happening in South America? Well, they're building some SAM sites. If that's the most interesting thing that they're doing, then I'm not too impressed. Wait, our AWACS is operational? If yes, then where? Because I can't put it anywhere. Here's one. Here's two. Oh, here you are. I'm sorry, I got a bit confused. Can my ships, especially my cruisers, deal with that target? With that SAM site? Possibly. Possibly. Yep, there we go. Go on. Then I can probably do the same thing here. Production complete. Production complete. Hell no. We definitely need more. Uh, over the horizon radars. Let's see what other towns need more SAM sites. Currently I have how many SAM sites? Who am I? Uh, the US. Then I can just look here. I have 27. I should keep the enemy at bay for a bit. Hopefully. Alright, well this is where I'm going to call the episode to a close. Um, the next episode is going to probably unleash nuclear war against South America. I'm not quite there yet, because I don't have a stockpile of nuclear bombs. So I'm going to first get those ready, and then make sure that I can quickly strike South America. Um, their ally, East Asia, might not take kindly to that. So I'm expecting a counter-strike from East Asia, and that is something that I'm not too ready for. I might build another aircraft carrier group and send that to East Asia, but we'll see. For now, let me know what your thoughts are on the strategy, and I shall see you guys tomorrow for the next part of this uh, mini-series. See you then.